What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone had an amazing Friday. Hopefully, you're all done with the old 8 to 5, sitting back, relaxing, getting ready for a weekend. And hopefully, it's going to be a nice, relaxing weekend for everyone. Nothing wrong with that. We got a lot to go over in this video. A lot of developments coming. It just seems like the timing of all this news is just so perfect, right? Ramp up the news, get the bullish news out there in anticipation for this bull run to help propel these cryptocurrency assets to brand new all-time highs. And even better, get the total cryptocurrency market cap to that four to seven trillion dollar mark love to see in this video we're going to talk about shorters about to get racked paypal on the fire from the sec on their stable coin what gives with that xrp launch i'll give you a date we're going to look at a chart you're going to like it we're going to talk about history because history is about to be made in just about i don't know it's about a week away Central Bank Digital Currencies XRP now available in 72 countries. And we're going to finish this one off with the XRP ledger. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Bitcoin's down 3.41%, coming in at $34,179. Ethereum coming in at $1,785. It's down 2.7%. USDT and USDC both coming in at $0.99. Cents. As XRP is a mean lean $0.60. Cents. It is holding that $0.60 cent range where we had a close October beautiful right now right it's down 1.89 percent in the past 24 hours but it's shown a little bit of life on the hourly up 0.34 percent total cryptocurrency market cap 1 trillion and 273 billion now folks if you didn't sign up you need to sign up because the newsletter is out the first one went out it was an xrp chart going over the analysis what we're looking at for the month of october and the close that we were looking for it's free it's 100 percent free you go to RippleVanWinkle.com, you join a newsletter, you get a uh, newsletter about cryptocurrency, the current markets, the trends, bull, bull run analysis, token analysis. It's a very, very easy process. It takes you a whole four seconds to sign up. All it needs is an email address so I know where to send that email. And as I said, it's free, 100% free. If you don't like the newsletter anymore, you don't want them, unsubscribe. You're off the list. That's how easy this thing is. But I think you're going to want to see the charts. I think you're going to want to know about current market conditions. I think you're going to want to know what I'm doing and what I'm up to. And all that information is coming to you in the newsletter that's sent out. Usually sent out once per month. But as these bull runs start to heat up, we're going to start doing these things bi-weekly. Then weekly, we're going to start just firing off the information the more these markets start to mature and take off. Credible Cripple said bottom shorters. Well, guess what? They're about to get wrecked. He's calling for it right here. Bitcoin, he thinks it's about to go up. He's ready for that parabolic move. I'm with him. I've been ready. I told you, November, we looked over that historical data for the cryptocurrency markets dating back over a decade. And November is the month we see that bullish uptrend come into play. PayPal. Well, this is pretty new. Very interesting. The PayPal stablecoin is, is a security, which is interesting, right? Because it's a stablecoin. It's always pegged to a dollar. You can't make money on it. You can't lose money on it because it's supposed to be stable. What is this a security of? What is the PayPal stablecoin a security of? This makes absolutely no sense. No sense that the SEC is going at them. What I think is happening here is the SEC is like, oh, easy target. PayPal doesn't want to get tied up in a legal battle with us. We'll just go after them and hopefully they pay us some money. Maybe they're just trying to recoup for their, uh, their losses here. In the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. What do you think about that? Egrog Crypto put this out. XRP launch date. This is what you need to pay attention to. The two-week Gaussian channel offers valuable insights. Minimizing delays and predictions. It's like having a crystal ball for XRP's next move. I like crystal balls. And I like knowing where XRP's next move is going to go down. He says the gauge XRP's alignment with the yellow blue cycle. Watch for the Gaussian channel shift from red to green within one of these periods. Yellow cycle, 462 days. Leads us to February of 2024. The blue cycle, a little bit longer. August, 
of 2024. But he, folks, think about this for a second. Even if we look at this, and for some crazy reason we don't get a move with an XRP until August, about eight, eight months away, ten months away, it's here. It's coming. It is closer than we have ever been before, folks. Here's the chart. Let me blow it up for you. For those of you looking at the screen, you can see the yellow line, the blue line, talking about how many days until we see the next move. You can see the, the historical data when those uh, alignments came together and what has happened. Parabolic moves have gone down. Yeah, we can look back and you can be like, Rip, what happened 2021, 2022? The move wasn't really that parabolic. Well, if you remember, we had the old SEC versus Ripple lawsuit that cost us a bore and that cost us a parabolic move. But we still get a beautiful, we still did get a beautiful pump. I remember that all the way down 90. I remember looking at some of the, uh, and talking to some of the TA experts out there who were charting XRP. And when that move was happening, like XRP is getting ready, it's probably going to blow past its all time high. And then boom, what happened? They swept us right from under our feet. November 8th, a very historic day for Ripple, folks. Swell is going down in the UAE. A lot of big names lined up at this event. I suspect we will get some big news coming out of this. If I had to take a guess and give my project my predictions, I shouldn't say projections, it's their predictions. We are gonna hear about more and more central banks coming on board. We're gonna hear about new partners we have never heard about before. I'm always excited for this time of the year. I'm always excited for swell. Endless possibilities that can come out of this endless possibilities but the amount of people that fill this event remember ripple went from sitting at a small folding table at the swift event a small folding table to holding their own event that is absolutely sold out that they have to turn people away from and these are all business professionals and now these people that are attending swell they are attending not for the free food and free drink oh no they're attending because they have an interest in using Ripple's technology and using the XRP ledger and moving over to DLT. That is why they are at these events. XRP jobs put this out. Georgia Central Bank Digital Lair Project. Remember this from September 29th where Ripple told us that they were shortlisted as one of the nine companies to demonstrate their technologies. Remember this one? on digital Larry, uh, but it will not be as speculative as current cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. So will it be regulated by NBG and uh, are the current regulations laws enough to regulate digital Larry? Digital Larry will definitely be regulated uh, by a national bank. Uh, currently what we um, are uh, contemplating is uh, relatively light uh, changes uh, to the legislation just to grant uh, digital Larry the same uh, level of uh, legal tender as we have for uh, money for, for paper. Which means legitimacy uh, for the exactly. digital. Same, it will have the same uh, le legitimacy as, uh, as uh, paper money. In the future, we will see, of course, as more uh, products are built upon uh, digital Larry, there may be more um, uh, changes required in the legal system as well, just to uh, keep uh, this uh, project developing. But at initial stages, uh, we are um, attempting to make uh, quite small uh, changes and just grant the same uh, um, uh, level to digital Larry as we have for paper. So they went from a short list of nine companies to what did we find out yesterday? Well, the, the pilot, it's on the way, folks. National Bank of Georgia selected Ripple as a key partner. Nine companies, we knew. Come on, I never heard of these any, any other companies on here. We knew if Ripple and what they're already doing, the central banks that they have on board, and plus all the other central banks that we don't even know about that they have on board. We knew they were going to get picked. And boom, bada beam, bada boom, came out yesterday. National Bank of Georgia, they selected Ripple as a key partner for the digital LARP pilot program. This is big. Adoption is picking up. DLT technology is picking up. And to come to find all out, my man DJ Peter Voss said this. XRP is now available in 72 countries with a combined GDP over $8 trillion. 72 countries XRP is available in. Got the central banks lining up, knocking at the door. That's what I'm telling you. Swell is going to be a big event. It's going to be 
an event for the history books. We're going to get, I have a feeling, some more central banks. I have a feeling they're going to be talking about the National Bank of Georgia. This is a huge accomplishment here. Going from a short list, I mean, you have to figure, before the short list, there was a long list. The long list got to cut down to a short list. They went back to their drawing board. They lined them all up. They looked who's going to be the best partner for their program. And who did they end up picking? Ripple. Folks, Ripple. Dark Defender, XRP Ledger. Here goes so already now. Let's start with this weekly time frame. As you know, we set the limit at 66 cents this week. I trust XRP will close above this level and continue the uptrend to the Fibonacci targets. He's looking at a weekly close above 66 cents. If that does happen, we have one resistance, the mid level at a dollar five after taking out 66 cents. I think XRP will stay long around the. I don't think XRP will stay long around the dollar level. I don't either. I think we get to the dollar fifty range, we go sideways for a little bit, then we get the next push up. Then he has Subway three has his main targets of dollar eighty eight, five eighty five, and eighteen dollars and twenty two cents. He goes, I trust I trust XRP to continue between five eighty five to eighteen twenty two, right after closing above the dollar eighty eight Fibonacci target, which I set myself as a short term target. I'll tell you right now. We get an XRP in double digits. I'm going to throw one massive freaking party. One massive party. And all of you will be invited if we get ourselves to a double digit XRP, folks. Where's the party going to be? I don't know. We'll figure that one out. Let's get to a double digit XRP. Fibonacci lines, they're usually pretty accurate. They're telling us where this thing's going to go. I'm calling for a 33650, but you know my targets are very conservative. I told you we can get a parabolic blow up top all the way up to 24 bucks. Dark Defender same 585 to 18 bucks. Let's do this. Let's send this thing to the freaking moon. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.